Hi guys, welcome to a Guru channel. So in this channel, I will discuss uh, multiple brief videos which are related to theory, concepts and problems regarding the electrical engineering subjects and I will discuss about the practical videos which are really interesting. So before going to the video, please don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. In this video, so we will see how to identify the shorted turns in the field winding using the online technique, nothing but the real time monitoring technique. In the previous video, we discussed about the pole drop test, which is an offline method to identify the shorted turns in the field winding. So before going to the, the online technique, so let us uh, briefly discuss about so how these field short turns will exist and how these shorter turns will affect the machine. So these shorter turns are so one of the major problems with the rotor winding. So these shorter turns will exist because of the, the insulation failure of the rotor winding and the aging of the rotor winding and because of the, the thermal stresses of the rotor winding. So these are the, the major reasons for the shorter turns in the so field winding. So because of these shorted windings, so what are the disadvantages? Because of the shorted windings in the field winding, it will reduce the machine capability to deliver the rated VARs. So because the rated flux will decrease because of the shorted turns in the field windings. And also, so these shorter turns in the field winding will generate the non-uniform air gap flux density. So that non-uniform flux density will result in a rotor vibrations and so these shorter turns will develop into a ground fault which will lead to rotor earth fault and one more disadvantage of this shorter turns in the field winding is it will increase the rotor winding temperature so these shorter turns in the field winding will reduce the rotor impedance thereby the rotor winding will draw excessive current which will generate the more heat in the rotor winding so these are the the disadvantages of shorter turns so because of these disadvantages we have to identify the shorter turns in order to identify the shorter turns in the field winding so we are having broadly two methods so one is the online technique and another one is the offline technique so the online technique is rotor flux monitoring technique in real time we will monitor the the air gap flux thereby we can identify which pole is having the shorted turns and the another method is nothing but the offline technique in offline technique so offline technique means we are not synchronizing the unit nothing but the generator will not generate any amount of active power or reactive power or in case of motor it will not draw any amount of active power or reactive power in order to drive the load in offline technique so we will use the uh, the easy method is the pole drop test so that pole drop test uh, we have discussed in the previous video so that we can uh, see you can follow in the previous video so but uh, this pole drop test is having the some significant disadvantages those are so this pole drop test can be performed when the motor or generator is in shutdown condition. So this pole drop test is nothing but we have to apply the some voltage to the rotor winding and we will measure the voltage across each pole. So that can be performed. So when the motor or generator is in shutdown condition. And so this a pole drop test is a time consuming process because if a generator is having the number of poles like uh, 64 more number of poles then we have to measure the the voltage across each poles we have to take the 64 voltages across the 64 poles that is very time consuming process and since the rotor is not rotating so we are not counting the centrifugal forces because some of the shorter turns will exist because of the centrifugal forces of the rotor so that uh, shorter turns because of the centrifugal forces that cannot be find out by using the pole drop test. These disadvantages can be overcome by using an online method is called as rotor flux method. 
so in a rotor flux method so what we will do is as name indicates we will monitor the rotor flux nothing but so we will plot the air gap flux density waveform thereby we can identify which pole is having the short returns so in this online technique so what is the method is so rotor flux monitoring involves measuring the magnetic flux in the generator or motor air gap to determine whether field winding shots have occurred in the rotor poles or not so that can be done so by placing a probe on the surface of the stator winding so that probe will sense the the radial radial magnetic flux density in the air gap so here so we can see so this is the probe so this probe is consisting several number of turns several number of turns so that will be pasted that will be glued to the stator core tooth so this probe will sense the air gap flux so here in the air gap the air gap flux is rotating with a synchronous speed so that air gap flux will cut the whatever the turns in this probe then some amount of voltage will be induced in the probe whenever the poles are passing through this probe so that we will see in detail so here we can see so this one is the the stator of a hydro generator so here on the face of this stator we will paste or we will glue the the probe and this is the rotor so the rotor is placed in the exactly in uh, middle of this stator inside the stator and this uh, from the stator to rotor we are having some as uh, mm of uh, air gap in that air gap we will place the flux probe so here on the face of this stator core we will place the flux probe so this flux probe is having several number of turns so whenever the air gap flux is cutting the so these number of turns according to faraday's laws the voltage will be induced so that we can see as each rotor pole sweeps by the flux probe a voltage is induced in the coil which is proportional to the flux from the pole so that is passing the coil the voltage is measured by electronic instrument so here the feedback from this uh, probe can be collected by the electronic instruments so the electronic instruments will display the voltage which is proportional to the flux cut by the so this flux probe so here the uh, operation principle is easy so we will paste the so we will glue the the probe on the surface of the stator core so this rotor is rotating inside the stator so whenever each pole passes through this probe that uh, the flux generated by each pole will cut the flux thereby the proportional amount of voltage will be induced in the probe that will be displayed by the electronic instrument so that so we will see some of the reading so here so this is a hydro generator is operating at full power nothing but we are synchronized the um, generator that will operating at a full power this machine is having 64 number of poles by using this online technique we can determine which pole is having the shorted turns so here from this plot so there is no that much amount of the deviation of the magnetic flux density so that's why so here we are not finding any known shots the radial scale is the average flux nothing but this is the average flux 2000 2200 2400 2600 like this this is average flux and these are the pole numbers from 1 to 64 so that average flux is almost the same for each pole that means it is not having any known short deadlines you will see another case so this one is um, another generated is having the same number of poles 64 but so here we can see so two of the poles having the less flux here the pole number 8 and the pole number 48 so having the less flux less amount of flux 
that means this pole number 8 and pole number 48 is having the shorted turns like this we can determine which pole is having the shorted turns so whenever that pole is passing through the probe the probe will determine the amount of flux will be generated by the pole so that will be plotted plotted like this so here we can see the pole number 8 and pole number 48 is having the less amount of flux generated that means it is having the shorted turns so like this we can determine which pole is having the shorted turns in online nothing but whenever the generator is generating the power so here we can see uh, uh, this one is the rotor flux uh, waveform of a motor is having the 22 pole so here we can see um, so this one is the flux density and the inner line is the 100 percent sorry inner line inner line is the 95 percent of uh, average flux so this one is the lower level and this one is the upper level so this one is upper level and this one is the uh, 105 percentage so like that in between lower limit upper limit we are having the flux lines that means this motor is not having any shorter times shorter turns the same is also here we can see so this one is in within the limits no pole is crossing the upper limit or lower limit so like that so we can determine which pole is having the shorter times by using the online technique which is called as the rotor flux monitoring technique so this online method is one of the real reliable method to find out the um, rotor winding interturn shorts by determining these interturn shorts we can prevent the further damage to the machine in advance thank you thanking you having your time